So, um, we all know that uh, <clears throat> interview, what is the meaning of interview? If you can tell me any idea, just a fair uh, rough idea, whatever comes to your mind. To, um, to know about the people's knowledge, uh, to make them, uh, to recruit the people to suit their uh, job requirements. Okay, fine. So it's a kind of, uh, you would say, like uh, interview, like a meeting, interpersonal, mm -hmm. and then you uh, meet people and then you uh, talk or uh, know about your uh, knowledge and the experience for that particular role. Mm -hmm. Okay, what skills do they have? Uh, what behavior do they carry or you know all these things okay so now uh, we will discuss about those skills so let's okay. start with the first point hmm. go through the job details okay whenever you see an ad a job advertisement in a newspaper or, or nowadays on the job portal or, or okay. any company who has come up with the, uh, you know, on their official website anywhere you need to go through the job details which is being published okay and according to the job details you will uh, see whether you are uh, you know your requirements are met or not and that's the second point ensure the requirements are met because there are many things which are mentioned in the job details and you have to see that if you fit that criteria that eligibility criteria which is mentioned in the job or not. For example, uh, they could be, uh, you know, they could be asking for five to seven years of experience for a particular job, any oh, job. Yeah. Okay. But you just have uh, two years of experience. So are you eligible for that job? You are not. What about they have mentioned a location in that particular, uh, you know, job uh, details and uh, you are not comfortable with the location, but you are ready to relocate. So in that case, if you are ready to relocate, that's fine. But if they are mentioned a particular location or they want people from a particular location or from a particular area, then definitely you do not qualify for that job. So because anyway, if you go, if you will go ahead and apply, they will your application will be rejected. So there are several parameters and several eligibility criteria on which the interview your uh, application, job application may be, may get rejected. So it's very, very important that you go through each and every job details, you know, every point in the job details mentioned and apply the form. Okay. okay. Nowadays, what happens, where, you know, in the in previous time, we used to, I mean, people used to go with the CV uh, to the companies and they oh, have yeah. to right yes, but nowadays what we do we apply online, online. and every uh, company every organization they have their own you no, know, career, uh, system, portal. career portal they have their own system that system. Okay. for example if you want to apply for air india hmm. okay so you go ahead uh, well they have a different way of uh, application but i'm just uh, telling you that you go ahead uh, and you put your application, the resume or whatever they ask for, your photographs, everything, and it will be uh, stored in their uh, recruitment uh, system. Okay. Like, yes. And accordingly, uh, they will try to, you know, they will filter, the system will filter, and it is most of the time, obviously, it is by default. And then the HR will go through each and every application. Just a second. Okay. The HR will go through each and every application and then after that uh, they will they will start with you uh, this thing um, uh, they will start with uh, you know trying to find out which yes, candidate okay. is suitable for the job right okay, okay. Now, what are the types of interviews? Okay, uh, so let's start with the types of interview. If you have given the types of interview, um, have you ever given an interview? I just wanted to ask you. Yeah. Okay. So 
you have given what kind of interview? I mean, have you have you gone to face to face? Yeah. face to face and uh, video call and telephonic uh, oh. but i don't know panel and psychometric no problem. so uh one to one you know that uh, you have been called to the office or to the venue uh you know decided by the office and then you will be given a particular date and time and then you will be taken into oh. the panel interview is like different people just a second okay. <coughs> face the interviewer with confidence okay and uh, uh, whenever you're facing the interview with confidence you will have that zeal and enthusiasm flowing throughout and interviewer can actually scan your confidence forget seeing forget uh, looking you know uh, or recognize he will he or she will scan your confidence recognize it and it can be seen in your attitude while you are answering the questions while you are portraying your personality whatever you have or whatever kind of personality you have. so it is very very important be optimistic as i've already told you always think positive do not be uh, you know do not just despair or hope you are going to do well just focus on the uh, you know that uh, particular moment at which you are and you give your best that's it everything will go fine and in life okay focus on your achievements focus on your achievements achievements like what you have achieved to uh, your you know during your tenure of work during uh, you know in your experience so you have to focus on your achievements while answering the questions to the uh hr so that you know the hr herself or himself will know yes this candidate is very much confident of his or her own achievements that means he can do anything he's ready to learn he is ready to uh, you know uh, take things uh, in a responsible way because he have achieved so much and he is aware of what he has achieved right okay. do not interrupt the interviewer for example an interviewer is asking a question and uh, first listen to the complete thing if you have not understood then you will ask afterwards okay like uh, after you have listened you can ask uh, may uh, sir may i request you to repeat that or may i request you to paraphrase it or something like that so okay. that the interviewer will understand that okay he, he or she is not understood it's fine it's okay okay so they will repeat the question now give a steady handshake to your recruiter after oh. you have or before oh. also like when you are meeting at the panel interview for example when i said no this panel interview different people are sitting yeah, yeah. you know maybe two or three so you go inside and you give a handshake good morning or good evening or whatever the time is or hello or uh, good afternoon hi or greetings something like that so you give a firm handshake okay. your hand and also remember that while hand while doing handshake your hand should be dry it should not be uh, you know full you know wet or sweat it should not be full of sweat why because if it is sweaty you know your hand is sweaty it will give the impression to the uh, hr that you are nervous and also not hygienic mm -hmm. not clean so it's better you Uh, your hand should be dry, and you give the handshake. And you have to handshake and greet each and every one who is sitting. Okay. Okay. Taking out the band. So, um, till here, did you understand any questions? No one. No. Okay. Let's move on to the. Uh, video resume which is commonly known as visual way nowadays uh, it is very it has become you know the era is becoming of uh, preparing or making a visual way visual way in simple words is video resume exactly the way which you write in your cv and resume you are talking you make your video and you're talking of yourself and your experience your experience 
on the video and you're preparing that. And then you will send it over. Because that, uh, that is going to make a depth Definitely a positive, a good positive impact because they are looking at you in the video. They know who the candidate is. They know how confident that candidate is. How uh, you know the clarity of speech he or she has, and um, how much effort he or she has put in going ahead and making that video. So these are the things which will put you in a positive light. And that's why I would recommend you to go ahead and uh, prepare your video resume. But there are some points to remember before you go ahead and make a video resume. Okay. okay? And what are they? What are you going to include in there? Obviously, you're going to tell your full name. What's your full name? Dinesh G. Dinesh G. Yeah. So you're going to tell your full name completely. For example, if I say, if I go ahead and say, uh, greetings or hello or hi, my name is Mehjabeen Khatri. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm actually given the full name. And then you can go ahead and you can say, for example, if you're applying uh, you know, uh, outside of India, then definitely you're not going to tell the region or something like that. If it's a metropolitan city or somewhere, you can go ahead. My name is Dinesh G. I, I am from Chennai, India. Or you can just go ahead and say, I'm from India. India, okay. Okay, because see, outside country, we're not that bothered about the small region because they're not going to find out. So they are only bothered that which country do you belong to. Yeah. Right? Now, this is how you will go. Now, the other point to remember is company and position applying for. Okay? Uh, like uh, what, uh, which company, in which company you are applying for and which position are you applying for. For example, you're applying into the Vistara, Vistara airline, and you are applying as a cabin. So you're making this video resume. So obviously you're going to uh, say that um, I am, uh, I'm, I'm applying or I'm making the video no, you can say like I'm applying as a cabin crew in your esteemed organization, the staff. Something like that you can make. Okay. And after that, you will include your educational background. Uh, whatever. I mean, if you have done your graduation, so I've done my graduation from this, this university. Okay. And a major, if you want to go ahead and more detail, then you can go ahead and say that I have my major is in this. However, not go beyond that. Okay? okay. Just say graduation, post graduation, whatever you have done, your education background from this university, this one, that's it. Done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Work experience or any internship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, work experience internships. Uh, you are going to include that also in the video that uh, these are my work experience. For example, if I talk about my experience, um, if I take the, the first two job, my with respect to my job and, uh, and the other job. So I will, I will just start with that, that I started my customer service career from this year and uh, I worked there, I worked at the organization with respect to my business year and I used to do this, this, this. Then after that, I got the golden opportunity to work with Qatar uh, Airways as a cabin crew, and uh, when I wanted to see the world, and uh, I worked there for six years or so, something like that. I mean, you okay. can go ahead, and and after that, you can also have you just also have to say a little bit about the organization, little bit, just one sentence or something. That this is what you have learned throughout your experience. experience. That yes, that is. You, you actually want to include that. Why? Because this is also going to give a impact to the uh, HR that this person is a learner. He or she has learned and taken the opportunity to learn from each and every step, from each and every work experience, from the internship also which she, he or she has done. Okay, because they want learners. They want people who do not, uh, you know, cease to work. They, they want people who just, you know, keep on working. They're very serious with their career. That's what they are looking for. Uh, then comes the soft skills. Soft skills, um, so there are different kinds of soft skills. And uh, 
some we can uh, talk about like you can talk about yourself um what kind of person you are uh, empathetic hard working um a strategic mind personality uh you know different things because you know about yourself so uh, so for the soft skills things you know what you have to do you or as whatever you have learned throughout your you know during your work experience for example like your ms office ms okay ms office i'm just giving you an example because ms office is now uh, you know prevalent with each and every job wherever you apply yeah. even even if you're good yes right mm -hmm. so it's some basic knowledge uh, you go ahead if you're good in ms excel you can powerpoint you can uh, you don't know anything so yeah. you just have to mention that apart from that if you have learned any more skills for example uh, you can mention the swimming option swimming okay. right whatever skills you have learned you mention that and you just have to make one one word into it that's it and your video resume uh, must not be so you know lengthy it shouldn't be lengthy after you have mentioned your soft skills you will go ahead with your hard skills hard skills like what this ms office and excel and all these things mm. okay what or or, or um, from some uh, where you have studied about uh, maybe um, interpersonal skills or uh, how to interact with people at work how to maintain a uh, healthy and positive uh, work culture or uh, commandery with your uh, you know people working there at work all these things because they will they will actually get to know oh these are the skills you have that means you are making an effort towards this uh, you know towards the, working continuously yeah. continuously if you have done any projects during your tenure of work you will mention that as well that this is the particular project which you have done okay and you will go ahead with that in case if you want to take a screenshot you may go ahead and take a screenshot also whatever i have said i'll show you okay then you will come down to your hobbies hobbies is like interests i would say like uh, what kind of interests you have and what you like to do like many people they like to read books they like to write there are, there are many people who who love to write because they want to just write everything they experience in their life in their daily routine everything so this is also one of the interest some of them they like to watch movies some of them they like to watch ott or the web series or whatever it is some of them they like to cook so people have different interests so whatever hobbies you have you can mention that as well because apart from uh, giving the resume of uh, core uh, work uh, you know face you are also uh, you know portraying and putting uh, you know forward your personality your uh, you know you you actually telling the hr this is the kind of person i am okay and they are actually nowadays they are interested in that also they want a different dynamic Uh, people in their uh, work, uh, you know, organization. Mm -hmm. So, though, in case if you have any certifications you have done in anything, any kind of certifications, and you've earned certificate doing that, you will mention that as well. Okay. Okay. Now, in the end, what are what you will do? You will mention your contact details also. Okay. Contact details like. uh how how are you going to mention like contact details so um, email id or uh, phone number mail id your phone number okay and your extension number also be mentioned whatever you have whatever contact details you have you are going to mention that okay and uh, last is the closing or social media like social media obviously linkedin would be one must be there why because it is famous for jobs and all that um however now linkedin is linkedin is next <laughs> so but it's better that uh, you mention that and uh, in case if you have any social media because you know why because these uh, organization they keep a track of the social media also sometimes because they want to for example a job has been uh, advertised and you like the position you have applied for that job on linkedin or anywhere so you apply for that job and you have mentioned that this is uh, and there was uh, uh, 
there might have been a column where you have to mention that this is my social media where my profile is. They will go and check your profile. They will go, they might, there are some organizations, they might check your activity also. Okay. So it's better that uh, you, uh, you know, you mention this. And then, uh, you know, in the end, you close the video call with a uh, follow-up uh, thing that I'm looking forward to have a conversation with you uh, or uh, looking forward to, you know, you looking forward to hear, hearing from you. Something like that. Just just give a close statement where you keep it open that you are expecting something and you are ready to follow up. That whenever the time will come, I will follow up. Okay, this is the thing which is very very important. Now, when there are there are things which you need to keep in mind. First is follow up. Okay, you have applied for the job you are not getting uh, any update uh, for many days or uh, say for the for the expected date of time when they have told that you, they will give the you know they, they will update you you're not getting that you know on that time or by that time then you will start to follow up you will send an email okay yes. follow up also if when you are selected for the job, you can go ahead and you can uh, express your gratitude, thank you or something like that. And this is good in case you go ahead and do that. So this, what kind of uh, uh, you know, what kind of behavior you are uh, showing to the organization that he is the person, he is the person of um, you know of gratitude. He, he he actually thanks each and everything, whatever comes in. His way and he's ready to accept that. So, this is a very good thing and adapt it. Now, furthermore, how to go further about it? Uh, as I've already told you, formal attire is important. Okay. When I, I have uh, prepared this, keeping the cabin crew profession in light. However, there are many other many other professions where most of the things goes by. Again, so first is formal attire. Second is do not go beyond two minutes. The uh, video which you will build, do not go beyond two minutes. Always remember. Okay. You need to be well groomed. Now, if you're preparing video for your cabin crew uh, interview, then your beard should not be there. Okay. You should be clean shaved, no moustache. Okay, you. Uh, it's better that you do not wear glasses, but if you want to, you can go ahead. Depending on what the eligibility, uh, you know, what are the things, the points have been mentioned. Okay. Okay. It's better you don't wear the glasses. Hmm. Okay, you can mention okay. that. Very groomed, and I've already said for boys because you. Uh, that's why I'm uh, telling you. For you, it's the uh, hair properly, you know, but smile should be there, okay, like a pleasant personality. So then, not, not every time you know, with, a, with a little bit of a smile and smiling face, not with a complete serious face, you know, not going to be done. Have a little pleasant personality, clear background. The background should be clear, yeah, okay. proper lightning should be there so okay. that. The video interview, uh, you know, these HR check or whoever people check, they will be able to look at you properly. Okay? Because okay. if there is darkness or uh, any such thing like that, then definitely that gives an impression that the uh, person is not serious with their interview. Because if he or she would have been serious, he would have made an effort to a uh, proper lighting of the day. Okay. Ensure no disturbance, no noise. No disturbance, no noise. Okay, that is very, very important. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, you just inform your folks, your, you know, your uh, family members not to disturb. Obviously, they do not. Mm -hmm. So, just keep this in mind. No disturbance, no noise. Then you keep a script. Now, when I'm talking about you keep a script, 
while making no not while like before making the original video or else you can paste it somewhere you know write it front of you or somewhere okay, but okay. you can see while yeah, looking okay. yes but but you can't just keep on reading like, okay no you can't do that because that will uh, you know that will actually uh, give the you know in the video interview everyone can find out that you are actually reading a script when your eyes your pupils are going from here yeah, and here yeah. right so you keep a script by keeping a script i mean that you make the script you go through it okay do not memorize you do not have to memorize because you have made your own script you this is your this is you on the paper you know yourself very well what you have you know written on the paper you have written on a paper why because you want to uh, prepare and that preparation is not equal to memorization so do not memorize it you can keep it in front of the or you know like behind the camera or in the, you know the laptop somewhere you you can keep on talking but you can just look here and then like in the middle if you have forgot that is fine that is fine but you can't keep on reading too much understood yes keep on practicing the script which you have made keep on practicing also keep practicing in front of the camera uh, like on the right nowadays we have mobiles on the camera so we have camera on the mobiles so you can practice there also right so keep on practice because practice makes perfect and uh, positive body language that is very very important you don't have to slouch you do not have to you know sit when like the, this okay. like so you have to keep your spinal cord straight you have to keep your backbone straight sit properly and then speak also uh, it's better that you sit on a chair while giving an interview with a backbone support it is much more better i'm going to play a video okay on uh, this wish to me so just watch how she uh, talks also let me know that um, till now you have what are the points which you have missed and you want to ask me if you have in the video resume okay oh one second man take the screen shot shall i show you from the you want no, to take no, the screen shot video video which me yeah, that's fine i'll play the video uh one second one second uh, uh like uh, before uh this before page. that yeah before this page just so this one uh, the, uh before me before previous previous oh no ma'am that uh, video oh yeah, yeah. okay next page ma'am next page okay wait this is the video resume starting page have you taken the screenshot of this one yeah this one i have taken okay the next page have you taken one second yeah okay next page this one have you taken okay yeah. this one have you taken yeah this one now i'll play the video Okay, so this is the uh, this is the video which I am going to show you, and uh, I will uh, on Monday I will prepare these screens uh, in Hindi and English both, and I'll make it because today there is a lot of internet problem. Okay. okay. Sometimes it's some sites are working, sometimes it's not working. So um, that I will do. We will uh, prepare your homework. With the uh, resume, and in case if you get time, we go ahead with the photographs. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Uh, just the last thing which I will show you is the photograph, uh, so that you will keep in mind that this is how you have to go ahead with the photos. Otherwise, everything is fine and okay. 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 No. 
Do you see this? Yeah. Yes. This is how you do. Okay. Now, if you if you think that you look good uh, while uh, you show your teeth while you're smiling, then you can go ahead. Otherwise, a slight smile would be fine, like uh, like this. Okay. In case if you think that you are smiling in this way and you look good on this, uh, you know, on the photo, because whenever you, when you go for the photograph, you will uh, check on your own act, all the angles, like okay. you know, smiling with the teeth uh, visible. Also, smiling with the teeth in. Okay? okay, and whichever uh, looks good, you will take that. This is the posture how you will stand, you know, like uh, Savadhan posture, mm. and but relax, not stress, not stiff, nothing. You will relax. Okay, and the passport size photograph would be easy, like. Uh, do you see this girl? So almost yeah. kind of that much body, the passport okay. size photo. Okay? okay. So I hope you like the session today. Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.